Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name's Graham from GB Aviation. If you've ever dreamt about flying the Airbus A320 or simply want to up your game in flight simulation, then you've landed at the right place. Today, I'm gonna to help you master the VNAV system in just five minutes. Yeah, you heard me right. Stick around and by the end of it, you'll be confidently navigating the skies like a pro. So let's jump right in. All right, so first things first, you need the flight plan. Make sure you've entered your route into the FMS flight management system. Remember to check waypoints and altitudes. A small error can lead to massive headaches. Trust me, I've been there. <laughs> Damn. So if we go down to the MTDU, you can see that we've put our performance figures in, we've put our flight plan in, and just check if there's any discontinuities in there, which there isn't. Now, once your flight plan is set, we move to the VNAV. You'll find this switch is just like this one. Tap VNAV on your autopilot and you'll see the little orange dot. It's like giving the green light to make sure you're active just before takeoff and while climbing through the initial altitude. If you do it right, the A320 system will handle the rest. It's almost like magic. So right now, let's get up in the air and I'll show you how VNAV actually works. Now here's where it gets really cool. The A320 will follow your altitude constraints. What does that mean? Well, if your flight plan says that you need to be at 10,000 feet by a certain waypoint, VNAV makes it happen. Just watch your speed though and descent rate. All right, quick reality check. What are the common mistakes people make while using VNAV? Here are the top two, even I've stumbled on these. Mistake number one, forgetting to activate the VNAV before or after takeoff. If you skip that, well, you might as well be flying a paper aeroplane. Number two is misunderstanding your altitude constraints. Pay close attention to those. Don't be the guy that overshoots 10,000 feet and has to pay the price from a warning from air traffic control. Yeah, I'm still having nightmares about that one. So there you have it, folks. Mastering VNAV on the A320 in just about five minutes. Just remember, set up your flight plan, activate VNAV before or after takeoff, and watch your altitude constraints, and you're golden. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe. For my aviation tips, hit the bell icon so you stay updated on the latest content. And hey, drop a comment below if you've flown the A320 or if you're planning to fly it. I want to hear your experiences. I want to say a massive thank you for flying with me today, obviously virtually. Stay safe, keep soaring, and I'll catch you on the next video. Take care, bye-bye for now.